social media than we actually would provide to um, uh, uh, the government on the census questionnaire for this one. That is, so we can give the benefit of the doubt. So, so Pami, <laughs> I think that's the key question. That's why we are talking about civil engagement. Mm -hmm. So, just you walking over to, uh, let's not talk about even undocumented people who are on H one visa. <coughs> the working Microsoft mm -hmm. or Boeing, mm -hmm. they would refuse to answer the question. Mm -hmm. They are not undocumented. Mm -hmm. That's even so. That's where we have to figure out. We need to find the right people in the community who can become the advocates based on how we, we make them an advocate. This is this is where we need to have the strategy. Mm -hmm. If my elder or my community. Mm -hmm goes to the temple mm -hmm. and explains the value of this and, and communicates why or why not. Mm -hmm. It'll make a bigger impact. I, mean, I, I don't mean to say you won't have an impact, <laughs> but having that elder lady or, or gentleman or a boy mm -hmm. talk to the community members will make the trust, mm -hmm. the trust issue comes in. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you find the right people who can become advocates to go do the work for us? Is where we need to have. Is where the civic engagement comes in. If if we are ex we expecting you in three months to go out of the community and educate everybody and magic happens, that won't happen. That's why you MBA MBA store, like I teach I teach MBA for school of business. That's why we need to have. What are the strategies that we need to work on? Am I making sense? How do you build trust? That's where we need to have. Yes. Thank you, Harun. And somebody else has another question. Okay. Um, part of the strategies we use for our census advocacy, which work, it has to do with one of them has to do with what Harun just said, which is using influential community leaders to actually talk to the community. <coughs> For example, just last week, um, uh, there was a big grand opening of the Islamic Center of Tigers House, which the almost a good number of the board, uh, Gambians and people from West Africa, we have a lot of the Muslims in the Everett, Linwood, I mean, area would be going to that mosque. For the first time, we are able to build a mosque that would be housing our communities. When we have our e prayers and others, we go, we, a lot of the Gambians, by the way, Gambia is about 95% Muslims and of course Christians, so we have a very good um, Muslim community here. We used to go around the mosque center for the performing arts to do our e. The last one, we did it at the Linwood Convention Center. Now we have our own place. So when that place was um, being opened uh, through the census, we were able to support the effort by actually cutting a check to the census. I would send um, some of these pictures and videos and the links for you guys to see how it went down. So we had a table outside and it was being opened. We had our census banners. I was given about five to seven minutes to give a speech. I mean, the um, leader of the masjid also, the board members, actually talked about the importance of the census. So we are going to some of those community locations where our people meet to talk to them about the census. Um, it's one important thing. Uh, we also, our a lot of us here have been here for a while, and we brought our parents here to come and relax and of course spend time with the families. Um, just uh, on November 30th, Thanksgiving weekend, um, our moms here formed an association called the Seattle Gambian Drama Association. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah, the center supported the effort. The grandmas, I mean, had their launching and they raised a lot of money. We did a lot of census advocacy there. I mean, they talked about it, the grandmas. If your mom talked to you, you won't listen. Won't you? Most of us, when our moms talk to us, we listen. Are you a mom? No, okay. Are you? Maybe that'll be like, sit down there! <laughs> the kids can sit down. But it is, our moms can talk to us. So we talk to our moms about the census. Um, if it gets to that level that our old women are talking about it, on the education. happen here. My kids don't treat the way that we treat our men. I know, right? <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yes, just yeah. Uh, that was just a joke. Thing. Yes, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if our moms are able to engage us on this, um, 
they are the ones. They are, most of them are, don't have formal education. Our moms that came from Gambia, they don't have formal education, but we are able to educate them about the census in our local languages. I mean, of course, through their event, through our that process, every single time we engage them, we talk to them about the census, we support them through the census. In fact, Ben Young came to the event, I mean, to actually raise the occasion and be like it, it was uh, well attended by a good number of our community. One more minute mm -hmm. for any questions yeah. for the rest of your project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah so that is one of the um, things that we do, which is um, uh, using community leaders, organizing events. A lot of our people actually, if you just organize census one-on-one uh, -on -one or full, kind of full, like a program that is solely on order about the census, a lot of our people may not come out. So that is definitely not uh, very effective in our community as far as we are concerned. But other organizations are also organizing events and we support those events. We go there and we talk about the census. We use social media a lot. A lot of our people have WhatsApp. I don't know if all of you know about WhatsApp. I mean, so we have several WhatsApp groups by the Gambian communities here, run by the Gambian communities here. That's another thing that we utilize. So these are just some of the things that um, we use. I have this on paper that I will share with Mr. Colin there and I mean her. Any questions, comments? Really quick to recap some of our conversation and pause mentioning the census advocates that are community leaders, but that once they take a census 101 training, so there's going to be a lot over January census 101 trainings that are happening. What are next steps for those community leaders to stay engaged in kind of the civic engagement plan that are relevant, culturally appropriate for the Gambian community? And even Pa was sharing that radio is really important, the yes. local radio, yes. the Gambian local radio. Community so that might be one strategy and method for engagement as those census advocates talking about their learning or but working with Pa to think about those yes. outlets after they take the census model and training. Yes, um, we are very <coughs> to answer any questions too, whenever you guys have any questions to ask about what we do, Gambian talents for the census. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
project that I can answer. She's also a yoga instructor, so she's teaching yoga right now. 